Hi, my name is Melly. This is my first interview ever. Um, alright, so there's basically two places I could say I'm from in general. I was born in Roselle, New Jersey. I raised I was raised most of my life there. That's why when I say sixteen hundred, I usually put five hundred with it, because five hundred is my original street address, my street name. But yeah, I'm raised, born and raised in Roselle. And I currently live in Woodridge. That's where I'm at right now. Um, shit. It's hard to give a specific date that I started making music. I've been making music my whole life. I've loved music my whole life. Um, I remember when I was younger, me and my cousins fucking formed a little band. We was like five or six. We formed this little band type shit. And that was the first time I ever technically performed those in front of our family. We fucking performed with our little band, some Christian songs, since we was raised in a Christian household. But I started really taking music seriously in 2019. That's when I really started making music for real, when I started considering it. And just last year, almost a year from now exactly, it's almost a year since I dropped my first song. And about a month is my... It's almost a year since I dropped my first song. So about a year ago is when I first started making music for real. <sighs> like I said, music, music been fucking part of my life my whole life since I was born. My mom, my mom used to tell me that when I was when I was young, like not when I was young, when I was still unborn, whenever she would play music. I shoot, that's when she would feel me kicking the most. And that's no joke, no corny shit, no nothing, but music has been a part of me since I was, I can physically remember. Like, every single aspect of my life that I can remember has a song or music somehow linked to it. Everything has been music in my life since I was, so I could remember. Alright, I gotta explain this one a little bit, because everybody be calling me Y and W Melly, but I'm not. Clearly, um, my artist name is Melly, all capitals with a three. I put my name in all capitals as a symbol of respect, the respect that I feel I deserve as an artist. The three in the in my in my name, that's an E. It represents three things. Uh, no, two things actually. It represents the so-called Trinity of God. It's a number of perfection. It symbolizes just perfection in general. And it also symbolizes the three M's and that I was originally raised with us. The original reason I made the name was me, my mother, and my father. Our names all start with M, so that's where the three came from. Oh, my Lord, because there's multiple influences in my life because I was raised like my musical influence changed genre throughout my all fucking years of my life. When I was younger, I used to listen to straight rock music and sometimes rap music like Eminem and shit and some emo shit like 21 Pilots. But then later on, a little bit later on, like 17, 2017, 2018, 19, I started listening to rap music more. Or just like, my, my t probably top five inspirations are NF, Switchfoot, Freddie Mercury from Queen, um, Easy e and X. I have to give that last part too. Um, when I actually started rapping, my probably inspir biggest inspirations were X and Easy E. But in general, I think my biggest musical inspiration is Freddie Mercury, because that he really made me fall in love with music. It, like when I started becoming a fucking music nerd, is when I started listening to Queen in general. So yeah, if there was a single artist that are alive, my top one would probably have to be Freddie Mercury, and my second one probably X. Uh, that's a difficult question too, cause I'm I'm not really sure. It's just always been like this since I was young. Like I said, I can remember I've always always loved music. There's songs that that I haven't listened to in years, but they each remind me of a certain era in my life. My love for music has always been there. When I was younger, my mom used to play music for me. She used to play gospel music and shit. Um, so that like like I said, since I was born, music in my ears 24/7. My family on my mom's side, they used to own a music school in Cuba before they came to America. Um, my uncles play, my uncles play instruments. All of my family on my mom's side is basically musicians. So I guess I was just born to be a fucking musician. And y'all better be on the watch for my new album. That shit about to go crazy.
My main motivation in general in life is for my personal growth and for the personal growth of the people around me and everyone else. I feel like over the, the course of maybe this and last year, my music and actually taking music seriously has helped me understand shit because I haven't been and I still am not in the in a correct mental space in general. But music in general is an aspect of my life that has kept me alive. I can promise you that. It's kept me alive. And no corny shit, like I said, because many artists say this type of shit. But it is true. I promise y'all, it is true. Music does keep people alive. And this music shit has been one of the main aspects of my life to keep me alive. And, yeah, my my main my main goal my main everything with this music is to enlighten the people around me enlighten myself grow as a person and become the best possible person that i can be in in life in general i could say my influence is my main influence as a man would be my father because he he's so much shit about him has influenced me to become a genuine man he's taught me what it is to be a man because i haven't had any other and i i could say that i i have had a father figure in my life which is something i've been blessed to have which has been one of my biggest influences and another thing that has influenced my, myself and i mean that in the least cocky way possible but just the fact that i've built myself to the level that i've built myself within the past couple of years i am a driving force in my life that keeps me going so yeah, those are probably my two biggest influences. You know this shit personally, but I'm I'm gonna redo it a bunch of times. Uh, I'm gonna keep doing it until it sounds right because I cannot have a half-ass song. I cannot drop a half-ass song. It's going to sound wrong to me. I cannot. Like, it's something I can't do. If, if it doesn't sound perfect to me, if it's not the way I envisioned it in my head, or if it's not the way I've screamed it 300 times in my car, it's, it's, it's not going to work. It has to be perfect. There's a lot of things that go into a song, obviously. It's the production style, mixing, vocals, everything. Because you can't just make a song if you have zero talent. It's not, it's not like that. Songs I consider perfect is like songs by Kendrick, songs by people like that. They've been working on their craft forever and they have extreme talent. But I think one of the main things that makes a song perfect is the raw emotion that's put in it. If there is no emotion put in it, I feel like it's not going to reach the listener the way it should. If, if there is no truth in it, if there's no emotion, no rawness in it, it's not going to reach you. It's not going to be, it's not going to sound perfect to you. Even though the emotion is, is emotional, but you still perceive it as that way. It's not perfect if you don't perceive it that way. We fucking dead, and I, I mean that in the most honest way possible, like I've been saying. But over the past three, three, four years, I've been fucked up, fucked up mentally. And I was reaching a point when I started making music that I no longer gave a fuck about living. I do. I did not. Um, if I didn't start, I would have found no purpose. I would have found no purpose. There was no purpose in my life before this. I felt like there was no purpose whatsoever. This shit gave me a purpose to keep going on, and it it helped me build myself as a person. Even though it was, it's just a physical thing that I started doing. That shit helped my mental more than I words can fucking imagine. Mm, I like, I love making music by myself because when I create a song by myself, I can fully put my entire thought process into it. It's fully mine. It's everything that I created it to be. But there is a handful of artists that I genuinely do fuck with. A shout out to my nigga Coex. That's one of my main people that I've became friends with over this music shit. And that's one person that I've made a couple songs with. You can check them out because they're fucking fire. But... There's a handful of people, handful of people, and I have to fuck with you as a person as well. Because if I can't fuck with you as a person, I'm not going to work with you in any way. There's a hand. Every time someone asks me to work with them in any way whatsoever, whether it be music, any way, I tell you I need a personal connection with you. If there is no personal connection, no friendship, I do not want it. It's fake.
some fucking love to Florida and go fucking donate some money. Go do whatever the fuck y'all need to do to help them because I fucking love Florida. My whole family is from Florida and some of my biggest influences are from Florida. Yeah, that shit is fucking insane, bro. They getting hit way too damn much. That shit reminds me of fucking Hurricane Sandy. That shit was crazy. One superpower to to read everyone's minds. If I if I could read everyone's mind, I know exactly what you're thinking. I know exactly what to do. I could have any other fucking superpower, but if I could read everyone's mind, I know exactly what you're thinking. I know the exact decisions to make. Everything in life is about decision making. So if you can make the right decisions based off of what people think, you got it. The music scene in Atlanta is obviously, it's always been fucking huge. So the Atlanta music scene, I want to go down there. I want to go to the South as soon as I turn 18 because music scene down there is a lot crazier. It's a lot of shit to do down there. But I also love New Jersey. That's one thing I do. I do love New Jersey. This this is my state and I want to put a name on this state. But yeah, if there's places I could travel as a rapper, it'd probably be to the biggest places. Chicago, Atlanta, Florida, LA, all shit like that. Places I can improve myself, places I can meet people. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. My, like like I said, my biggest inspiration is X, one of them. He died. He died for no reason. He died for no reason because... Yeah. That shit was crazy. Security, it's not pussy. Once you got money, sometimes you got to be pussy. Yeah, I remember that shit like it was fucking yesterday too. But yeah, security is a definite must. I'm not pussy, but I'm going to keep my life in check. I'm not dying. Plans. I got a couple of plans up ahead soon. I'm planning on dropping this album that I'm working on right now, Jersey Homicide, very soon. <laughs> I'm planning on dropping jersey homicide soon i have a project coming out next year i know for sure and a merch line and a fuck load of shows that's main four things that i have planned for right now <laughs> um i'm not gonna lie and say i don't i don't have the money to right now if i did i would um i'm also a humble person though in in general I, I do like that type of shit. I would wear chains if I had the money to. If I, I would wear fire ass clothes if I could afford it. But at the moment I can't because I yet am still a 16 year old underground rapper who nobody fucking knows. But yeah, flashy, I wouldn't say all that, but I'm, I'm gonna be wearing my shit. bro that shit hits bro because that nigga pnb i used to love his songs when i was younger i kid you not i used to love that nigga songs and bro that, that nigga's another person died unreasonably bro great fucking artist he made great connections with new jersey made connections with concert crave my my man's john Setti. he that shit was crazy <laughs> my go-to <laughs> damn bro i eat a lot <laughs> Fuck, um, shit, Hispanic food. I love Hispanic food, but I also love Italian food. But yeah, I love food in general. But my go to meals, probably churrasco, white rice, and tostones, bro. That's my shit. I love that. Two, Sprite, Sprite, dirty Sprite. I know, I'm joking. I never had that shit. I'm a legal abiding citizen of the law. Trippy fucking red, bro. After I got on stage with before his concert, bro, I want to open up for him, bro. I want to open up for Trippy Red. Or Ski Mash. Either one of them. Man, fuck the shoutouts. Except myself. I'm sorry. I have to. On all platforms. M3 L O Y, all capitals. But I'm gonna leave y'all all with a message because that's what I do. That's what my inspirations taught me to do. To give y'all all a positive message. Even though I might not be in the right mindset right now. But I know what's correct. And I know what growth is. And I know what, what is right for all of you. And I love all of you who's given me your time of day to listen to me. Listen to my music. Anything. Support me. It Like I, like I post all the time. If you support me, I will forever fuck with you. I will forever fuck with you if you support me in any way. 
just taking a second to repost my shit i will love you for that shit bro but yeah you all have the fucking mind capability to become who you want to be everyone has the capability to become who they want to be everything in life is about becoming so enlighten yourself learn become who you want to become because we are all gods i believe in god but i believe we are all gods as well so you all have the ability to become gods so yeah my name is m3 lly young crucifix young 1600 that one nigga from New Jersey. But yeah.